big setup, a lot of people, a lot of cameras. Um, the pressure's on. Action! Steven Gerrard is inviting Xbox fans around the globe to enter a new generation of games and entertainment as part of a blockbuster marketing campaign for the Xbox One console. This is a, a monumental production. Uh, it's been about eight months in the making. It's a TV commercial which is called An Invitation, or it's called RSVP. And it really is a series of very simple but amazing invitations that confront people as they're going about their daily lives. And uh, one of those invitations involves Stephen Gerrard inviting a lucky 16-year-old kid from the stands to come and join him on the football pitch. I'm calling a kid down out of the stand yeah, to come and play in the game. So I point and wave him onto the pitch and then give an expression and like that it's him and he's excited to come and join us. What that scene is all about really is enjoying a great sport moment on our console. We want to produce a TV commercial that's going to entertain people and having him involved is really going to have some impact. When the cameras do start rolling, what's your approach to acting? Get it done as soon as possible. <laughs> Get out the way. Um, as I say, I try and give it my best shot. I, I know where I am when it comes down to acting. I'm right at the bottom of the pile, but um, if I can do a job um, for the director, I try my best. Wave him again, and then point with your left hand. Nothing is easy in acting. Nothing. I once had an actor who couldn't say the word no. It was a hockey player, actually. And I was like, it's just the word no, but he couldn't do it. Good, okay, and one more. Just have your foot on that ball on this one. Okay, Sorry. we'll start with your foot on the ball. Okay. Ready and action. Well, I don't think there'll be any Oscars getting won, that's for sure. Stephen Gerrard has been with this football club for you know 20 years. You know, he's, he's a man that has a huge, huge following. Uh, not just uh, you know in Liverpool but globally and we needed a figure um, that had that kind of appeal. The fact that he's the England captain as well is a huge bonus. It was a great choice and a thrill that, that he's involved with us. It is flat, flattering to be picked by a, a huge brand like Xbox out of thousands of top players out there. That's why I want to give it my best and make sure it works for them. Do you feel like a, a kind of global icon? I don't think you'd ever think of what you are uh, around the world. I think it's important you've got the right people around you to, to keep your feet on the ground and, and stay humble really. Of course, uh, my, my career has been very successful to, to date. If a lot of attention and my profile grows through that, then great. It means I'm doing my job properly. Years ago, I used to I used to love computer games. Now and again, I have a little go on the golf, the Tiger Woods games. But for me, we're having three kids. It's get your head down and get some rest uh, for the game, try and get as much sleep as possible. So the older I've got, um, the less I play on them really. But I think younger players love them. You know, when you're down with England, or a few of the lads take it when we're travelling with Liverpool in the bags to, to play in the hotel room because there's a lot of downtime. Brian Buckley is an Oscar-nominated director. He's worked with film stars and other top sportsmen. How then did the Liverpool captain compare? Total premium, like, he was out of control. He was demanding things in his trailer. There was a special waiver. You know, I don't know, it was, it was a nightmare. He wouldn't talk to me for a while. <laughs> um, no, he was great. You know, he's very accessible, very down-to-earth guy. And considering that, you know, what he's carrying on his shoulders right now and the team and pressure and stuff is pretty remarkable. Action. Steven Gerrard has harboured those expectations for many years and although it's hard to imagine a Liverpool team without him, one day he will hang up his boots. So is his future in football or film? I think Acton's certainly uh, out of the equation. Uh, management maybe if I was good enough. Um, you know, Just because you've been a, a decent player and you've had a successful career it doesn't mean you're going to turn out to be a, a top manager. But if I was good enough and never got the shout, to, to be the Liverpool manager in 10, 20 years, of course, I consider it very seriously. Yeah, so probably punditry and management is uh, more of a favourite than acting.